Everyone, meet your meat. No. 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 Feast your eyes on this menu of 10 things you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. Because even though there's a lot of good barbecue out there, there are still some things you should avoid. This is a red burger. Hold the sides. Hold up, I'm sorry, Pope, but hold up. Barbecue is all about the meat and more meat, but this doesn't mean there isn't room for other foods, including some tasty sides that go well with all that protein. However, not all sides are created equal, so you have to beware. Remember that the main thing about barbecue is the meat, so concentrate on that and don't fill up on heavy, fatty sides like macaroni and cheese, fried okra, and potatoes. These are all examples of things you should never order at a barbecue restaurant. Baked beans on the other hand, can be a fairly healthy side, but their fiber content means they will fill you up and leave less room for that delicious meat. If you have to try the sides, then portion control is key when it comes to enjoying them without ruining your meal. That's a party platter. It serves 12 people. I know what I'm about, son. You can sample a selection of sides with a few bites here and there, but keep your eyes on the prize, the barbecued meats and sauces. If you fill up on heavy sides, you might not have the appetite to fully appreciate the main dish. You don't have to stick to only meat, because a meal of only meat may not be that appealing even to meat lovers. Just remember to go easy on the sides so you don't ruin your appetite and miss out on the star attraction. Think about it. Save the specialty. Our special today is coho salmon. Sounds disgusting. Do you have chicken fingers? When you're trying out a new restaurant or a new kind of cuisine, it is often helpful to try the house specialty. But when it comes to barbecue, this isn't necessarily true. It turns out that specialties can be one of the things you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. It may seem strange to avoid ordering an establishment's specialty, but the trick is to do some research first. Different areas that are known for their barbecue, such as Texas and the Carolinas, for instance, are known for certain specialty foods. But this doesn't mean that every barbecue place in those areas is good at making these specialties. Instead of taking a chance and ordering the local specialty, try to sample a few items and see what you like. You can also ask some locals what a particular barbecue spot makes best. You don't have to avoid the barbecue specialties entirely, but it's just best to not go in cold without getting a sense of the quality of all the food, and this includes the specialty items. Even if a particular place's specialty has a good reputation, it doesn't mean you'll automatically like it since tastes are so subjective. Now describe what you taste. Cheese. And... Cheese. The key is to keep an open mind, but in the end, eat what you like regardless of whether it's a popular item on the menu or not. As we keep moving on, take a second to hit that like button, would ya? Thank you. Next! Forget fusion. It's fondue dumpling. It's fusion. Fusion is a concept often associated with gastropubs and other hip eating establishments trying their best to reinvent the wheel. Good barbecue can still be innovative, but usually this classic cuisine is all about tradition and sticking to the tried and true that has made barbecue such a favorite. If you've been to a barbecue fusion restaurant, then you've probably seen things like brisket quesadillas, barbecue mac and cheese, and pulled pork enchiladas. That's interesting. That's very interesting. These kinds of dishes can be good, but you probably shouldn't risk your barbecue meal on these. In fact, these are the kind of things you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. One person's innovation is another person's mistake, so why take the chance? There is so much to enjoy when it comes to traditional barbecue that there really isn't a reason to go out on a limb with fusion barbecue, which may or may not be any good. Any decent barbecue place will offer you a wide range of meats, sauces, and sides to satisfy most palates, so it's probably better to give those a try before you venture off into barbecue fusion. If you're committed to trying some fusion barbecue, you could order some as a side and still order a traditional meal. This way, if the fusion disappoints, you'll still have your main meal to fall back on. Either way, there will be plenty of good food to enjoy. Noise. Avoid the end. And most importantly, I'll bring back party sub leftovers. 
No matter what kind of food you're eating, you want it to be as fresh as possible. This freshness policy is especially true for barbecue and is directly related to one of the things you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. Meat is best fresh off the grill when it is hot and tender. This is one of the best things about barbecue. On the other hand, barbecue that has been sitting around all day is another story. These leftovers have been picked over and have usually been left behind for a reason. These aren't the choice pieces of meat. These are the scraps of meat that tend to be more fatty and either undercooked or overcooked. You also have to remember it's not just the meat that will have been sitting around. The sides, such as the cornbread and green beans, will get stale or cold as well if they sit on the counter all day. I can't eat this. The best way to avoid all of these pitfalls is to go to your favorite barbecue place early in the day when everything is fresh, and don't wait until near the end of the day when you'll have to settle for what's left. While it's true the early bird might get the worm, it turns out it also gets the best barbecue. So keep this in mind the next time you get a craving. Trust me when I say this. Don't eat your vegetables. Fish! For sport only, not for meat. Fish meat is practically a vegetable. We all know that barbecue is all about the meat, but sometimes people want a little variety with their meat. Barbecue sides can take many forms, and sometimes vegetables are offered as a side. But it turns out this is one of those things you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. Barbecue restaurants specialize in barbecue meats and not vegetables. So if you want vegetables, you should probably go to a salad bar, not a barbecue place. Ron, would you like some salad? <laughs> Since I am not a rabbit, no, I do not. For some reason, some barbecue places do offer things like green beans, but don't expect them to be the best green beans you've ever had. According to some sources, the green beans you're served at some barbecue places may have even come from a can instead of being fresh. Can corn on the cob come from a can? Maybe not, but that doesn't mean it hasn't been frozen. You would think you would be safe if you ordered this fresh summer favorite, but this might not be the case after all. If you still want to order vegetables, keep in mind that because you're at a barbecue barbecue place, there is a very good chance the vegetables will be cooked in a lot of butter and might even come with bacon, because butter and bacon just make things taste good. Is that bacon on your turkey leg? They call it a Swanson. Where's the beef? Relax for me. Leg warmers. Where's the beef? Hamburgers have long been a staple of fast food chains, and their versatility makes them a great choice for lunch or dinner. One patty, two patties, cheese, and bacon are just some of the things that make hamburgers so popular. Because they're so popular, you might be surprised to learn that hamburgers are one of the things you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. Barbecue restaurants specialize in barbecue, and hamburgers don't really fall into this category. A good pit master could probably cook up a decent burger, but it's not really their thing. If you're at a barbecue place, you're probably there for the barbecue because you can get a decent hamburger at a lot of other places. Good barbecue and everything that comes with it is worth going out of your way for, and it's good enough to leave the burgers to the burger joints. Big Kahuna Burger. That's that Hawaiian burger joint. I hear they got some tasty burgers. A hamburger and french fries are fine for a quick lunch on the go, especially since you can order at the drive-thru and eat in your car. Barbecue, however, is a different matter, and you'll have to give yourself a little more time to enjoy the slow-cooked meats and sides. Although it can take a little longer to prepare good barbecue than a burger, you will usually find that it was well worth the extra wait. It is the best. Easy on the sauce. The sauce, oh my on the sauce. Continue. When it comes to barbecue, we often think of the barbecue sauce as a key part of the experience. For many people, great sauce goes hand in hand with great barbecue. <laughs> yeah, boy. In some regions, the quality of the barbecue is almost dependent on the quality of the sauce. Regions are also known for different styles of sauce, with Kansas City area sauces being known for their tomato base and sugar flavors, while the Carolinas favor vinegar based sauces. However, all this focus on the sauce isn't always always the way to go. It turns out that when you're in Texas, it's a different story altogether. The barbecue sauce is one of the things you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. In Texas, they have a different take when it comes to barbecue sauce. Many people in the Lone Star State consider it an insult to the cook if you dare smother your favorite barbecue meats and extra sauces. Their take is that the meat is carefully prepared to taste a certain way, and using barbecue sauce just covers up all the work the cook 
Cook did. It is important to note that when barbecuing, sometimes Texans will use barbecue sauce as a marinade or during the cooking process, but then the sauce is put away. This debate about the importance of barbecue sauce is obviously a very subjective call. And for many people, barbecue sauce is part of what makes barbecue barbecue. But if you have barbecue in Texas, go easy on the sauce or you might offend the cook. Step three, I put it on some pasta. And that's the recipe! Say no to slop. No! Just go on. No! No. Although this doesn't sound appetizing at all, some barbecue places offer what's called a slop bucket or some kind of large platter for big appetites. However, even the big eaters out there should probably avoid these specials because they are one of the items you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. The reason for this is that these slop buckets are sometimes just a way for restaurants to get rid of their leftover items without calling them leftovers. These platters can often just be a collection of odds and ends, a combination of meat scraps and sides that could include brisket, pork loin, sausages, macaroni and cheese, and even leftover bread. Maybe it's fun to order something and not know exactly what you're going to get, but you might be disappointed with the end result. What in the devil's name is this? Portobello mushrooms. Where's the steak? Another thing to consider with these slop buckets is that the restaurants might be trying to get rid of their less popular items, which means they're probably not very good to begin with. If you luck out and get a decent mix of foods presented well, then you'll probably be okay. However, if you just get a pile of leftovers slapped on a plate, then it will be a reminder of why you shouldn't have ordered it at a barbecue restaurant in the first place. Just don't do it, promise? What's in a shape? M potato shape, coffee mug shape. When you think about barbecue, you might think about the different cuts of meat, how it's cooked, or what kind of barbecue sauce will be used. You're probably not thinking about the shape of certain meat products or what it means if they are a certain shape. Barbecue meats are generally fresh cuts of meat, such as brisket and pork loins. However, so-called shaped meats are something else entirely and are one of the things you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. So what are shaped meats anyway? These are meat products made up of trimmings and other less desirable cuts of meat that are formed into one piece. These kinds of meat products are much more processed than traditional barbecue meats like brisket and ribs, and therefore less desirable than the whole cuts. Pass. Yeah. These shaped meats are sometimes smoked or put in casings and sliced like deli meats. These shaped meats are essentially deli meats as opposed to the fresh cut meats you would expect to get at a good barbecue restaurant. There might be some particularly well done shaped meats that are worth trying, but generally you should avoid them and insist on the whole cuts of meat. That's what barbecue is all about. Perfect. Don't let them eat bread. Hmm. Gross, huh? It's perfect! Bread is a staple for many people and is commonly served in restaurants of all kinds. The inclusion of bread is part of the experience at many barbecue restaurants, and this is where the problem can come in. Although bread can be a fine addition to meals of all kinds, it is also one of the things you should never order from a barbecue restaurant. This can be complicated by the fact that many barbecue places serve bread for free along with a few other fixings. So even if you don't order it, you may find yourself with a basket of bread that is probably tasty. Ah, very nice. Some people use the bread that's provided to make sandwiches with the meat they've ordered. The problem with the bread is that it's really just a high carbohydrate filler that can get in the way of the delicious meats that you're supposed to be focusing on. Not many people go to a restaurant, including a barbecue restaurant, just for the free bread, even if it is great bread. Most of us at one time or another have been given the advice to not fill up on the bread when eating out. It might just be a cliche but it seems like good advice, especially when barbecue is on the menu. Indeed. Indeed. Get a taste of more great videos. Just tap or click, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad. And hey, leave us a comment.